All right, welcome back to your balanced diet of Teletimia. Now, time for us to talk with, uh, to our Kajad guest as we get to our top story. Now, we're going to talk about the economy and how this election take affect the economy, either in a positive way or in a negative way. Now, joining me in the house to discuss this, we get Wilson Erumebo, Imna Economist at the Nigeria Economic Summit Group. Good to have you. And we also get Yinka in you. In your count, in your lack on, sorry, <laughs> in our head corporate communication um, for inside NESG. Good to have you. Thank you very much. Now, Today first of, before we talk about the economic summit, now let's talk about the implication, the economic implication of the election where we just finished. Well, um, first of all, um, in the general elections where we um, get, you see how first time the, the election. I neck, in short, not even on the day of the, the election, uh, way it's supposed to happen, and then push them forward. Mm -hmm. And if you notice a lot of things will happen during that period, many people were a bit worried because how you go just come announce something when some people don't already mobilize, they don't travel, go where them say they won't vote, maybe them go their normal states, all of a sudden we just hear say, in short, I never even sleep that night, me personally, I did watch them hoping say, okay, I go go vote, but as it come, say they don't shift them by one week, it affects a lot of things. First of all, voter apathy, within, as in the fact is so many people, we don't already travel. Many of them no go back to their place to vote again. And that alone itself, you know, affects in a way the result we will see. If you look at, compared to last election, how turnout they good. In short, the one for Lagos where it happened it was so disappointing because every, almost everybody lose interest for the whole process and say, Look, why I go waste my time, waste my money, waste my energy, can't go vote again when you, sh you shift them. So um, some of those costs, you f if you put um, money to, to RAM, but it is very huge. Because in the sense that um, if people don't come out to vote to elect and decide who go rule them in the next years, now the people will come out, the, um, in some cases now, the, maybe the touts and the hoodlums will come out, come you know, influence that process. Now them, some of sometimes now them go gain. We where we want the kind of leader where you want put for there. You know, get that chance and opportunity to put that leader. In terms of logistics for INEC, um, a lot of things had to move around. If you notice, some people where they don't, they don't already mobilize had to recall them back. I mean, look at NYC members. Some of them they sleep, you know, for for where you know they're not supposed they some they sleep. So all those things get. Um, implications for the economy and it also affects the confidence of people in the whole electoral um, process. Um, ideally, if you want shift election, you, because I even see interview like two weeks before that time when the INEC chairman say nothing, in short, if you watch that interview, you go to feel say, ah, we don't ready, everything don't do, money don't set, everything. Well, how come you just on, in the morning of that election shift them? So it, it they affect people's confidence in the system. So let me come in here. Now, the election, they don't, have, they don't conclude the election, the general election, and even the um, state elections, even though, say, we get some way they need to actually um, still conduct. Yeah. And we know, say, even now, the opposition party, they talk, say, come, now not supposed to win, now we supposed to win. So a lot of um, going back and forth as regards to the election still they take place even now. Yeah. I just want to know, as an economist, how this one say they affect, apart from Nigerians' confidence, Investors' confidence. Um, you see, investors. One thing where the way investors like or appreciate is certainty. Um, uncertainty. When you know sure, waiting they happen, it they always affect investments to come in. In short, even what make can even go foreign to talk about foreign invest. Even mm -hmm. local investments. You and I, if you want to invest in something, if you know they sure how the environment be, mm -hmm. you go withdraw your investment because you go lose. So now, very huge implication on investors because all over the world, if they follow news, Bloomberg and all that, they were, many of them were like, ah, Nigeria, again, some Nigeria's way they diaspora herself, they follow the updates live and say, why, if you say, we know if we just plan and get something done, right? Mm -hmm. So if they mirror the kind of society where we they live in to show, say, I mean, if they tell you, say, how we don't they be, they come right from 19... 60s till now that while we know if you plan you get 200 and something billion allocated for your election money release nobody say money no reach 
Why you know if you just plan and get something right? That one are uh, general concerns, even for citizens, investors, um, policy makers, everywhere, everybody, could they affected with that kind of situation. Now let's talk about the economic um, summit group. Now, make I speak with you, Yinka. Tell us more about some of the things they want to do to make sure say Nigeria economy they strong. Nigeria Economic Summit Group, where they, they call for short, NESG. What do they do? And I say, we they bring people together. They, 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 we they run one model where they call think tank and policy advocacy group. Okay. That group, what we they take and do? And I say, um, number one, as connector, we go bring two people. We know the, um, where their relationship no good well inside public service. Bring them together. Say, how are we going to resolve this issue? Number two thing, where would they do? And I say, we they do policy dialogue. You get one thing, where would they do every year for Abuja, that they call them Nigeria Economic Summit. That summit, we will bring private people from Lagos, from Aba, from everywhere. We will carry them, come meet with government people. May they sit down together on the same table. May they talk, waiting to help their businesses move forward. And government itself will talk, say, now nah, so we go do them. Now, after that, we document all of these things, right? And uh, the third thing we would do, we call an intervener. We will come document them through our policy commissions. We cut across agriculture, transportation, infrastructure. We will come document all of these things. Come the poor government, say, when you go do this thing, when you go do this thing. We know it's instability there. But we know they give up every time we go, they meet them, say, how you go make this thing work. The fourth thing we would do, now we would call watchdog. No be bingo. Now just watchdog, where they touch light everywhere for the economy, say, why this thing they like this? Why this thing they like this? Like my colleague Wilson don't talk. Say, we feel do better with our election process because it they cause uncertainty. So if we they watch all of these things, and we did, after we watch them, we go write reports and send them to the right people. Based on that, they will feel behave better. And hopefully by our next election, we know we'll get postponement like this. Mm. Now, still talking about the, the, the economy, and make I speak with you, Wilson. Now, the Senate does actually okay 30,000 naira for minimum wage. It get any effect on our economy? Um, yes, uh, like economy go say, you know, one now on the one hand, the other thing now on the other hand, you know, positive good day, negative, negative good day. day. But on the good side, I think, in short, some people will even tell you, say, 30,000 30, naira, no rich, because if you look at cost of living for the economy, Very and again, high. The recession time way we, we happened for 2016. You see how prices go up, everything, exchange rates. So people don't they suffer, they come. Make I put them like that since. So um, it's a good thing, a good relief. But the next leg will be say, even if they sign them, she government go fee pay. I mean, I if they pay me for my deep down inside my heart. Sorry, say today now international happiness day. day. <laughs> if they pay me, say. State government go they complain, say they know if you pay 30,000 naira. Meanwhile, the cost of running government alone, with all their S SUV and everything, you know, that cost alone, you get many avenues where they feel block leakages to save cost if they really, if government not really for the people. So I know no state supposed to come out, come talk, say they know if you pay 30,000 naira. And again, for every state, if you look at regions, every state gets one thing, whether na product, whether na cassava, whether na oil, with their feet, you know, harness and make make businesses grow so that people go feel pay, whether one form of taxes or the other, government go feel make one or two money, employment and all that go day, make people day happy for the state. So I feel like maybe many of these states don't day very lazy that they know they look inwards to waiting they get to harness the resources or whatever way they get for the state to make, you know, generate money and make people happy. So that one on one side. The other concern may be um, if it be on the leg of inflation, prices okay. of goods. But again, if you, if you look at from another side, waiting with the, you get what they, they call basket of goods. How much of that effect you go, you go see for the economy, that 30,000 naira effect. If you know if the multiplier effect no day too much like that, inflation if you know go mm -hmm. up too much like that. So no be must say prices go skyrocket. No. Sometimes it now if it just be minor. But I think is is overdue. Mm -hmm. For how many years now we never adjust this thing and this is the right time. In short, if you even if you go up more, make the average Nigerian feel the impact of this thing. 
it go, it go even make sense for the country. All right, now let's let's talk about just briefly. Let's talk about the Nigeria Economic Summit Group. Now, for Nadon Day on ground for many years since 1993, when they actually found this particular group. What can be some of our achievements? Because Nigerians will come and say, "Tossi, this group they there, but our economy see they suffer." Nigeria Economic Group, when they set them up, now for even during military era, and we go through a lot just to make them come out. Now, many of our founding fathers, all of them, like private people, we look, say, this country, no, if it continue like this. Then they come, sit down with government. It did difficult at that time. But over the past 25 years, like today be International Happiness Day, mm -hmm. even make us happy all year long, now our International Happiness Year, because now our 25th year, we don't do this thing with this. Why are we they happy based on that? We, we need to realize, say, most nations now process. And over the years, improvements don't come. We private sector. Um, don't make improvement into the economy. Back in the day, nobody won't hear privatization. Now we bring them on the table. Back in the day, nobody won't hear, oh, what is the vision? No vision. Well, in some cases, privatization never help us. It never help us. But at least, now because we never implement them well. And the reason we will never implement them well, and I say every nation, um, now process, policy change, now process, um, development, now process. So if we consistently they get democracy and our people they listen to us and as we they run, we they run volunteer network. We all our volunteers, as you the entertainment and media, you come on the table, person with the agriculture, you come, person with the transportation, you come, with your own knowledge, come to the table with the government, say this now waiting go help us, this now waiting go help us. Now so we go move forward. Because as much as we think say politicians know everything, now we we we, we they feel the pain. Now we go feel tell them how to improve the sector. Nobody them go tell us. Now through dialogue, you talk, I talk. We bring them to the table. And economists look them. They do projections based on all oh, waiting we don't talk. And we go see, pinpoint how we go improve the country. Government, they listen to now because let's talk about our educational sector. I know say now we don't put an amount for inside yes. it, but still our educational sector now something we could not even write about. Yes. That they listen to now. That they listen to us. We that they that they allow us into the room, right? And that's what's important. We, be, we are not partisan. We are not for profit. We know they collect one single penny from government. And now why did they listen to us? If to say we don't collect money, they go, they go feel, say, well, wait till we give you the last time. So because we are allowed into the room, we, they pinpoint education, right? The education of the com, um, country, not the big, one of the biggest pitfalls for us. It and is. to improve education, to improve health, is very important. And our waiting will help our economy go up. Um, if you go our website, you go see all the policies where we don't try influence for education. The website now nesgroup.org. You go see many things where they do. You go even see how our people for house we participate for education. If they get any idea, any way where they feel say we feel move this thing forward, education, sports, all the sector. Come, you come check them out on the website and you go see and you go know waiting. Dungeon. All right, just, just lastly, uh, Mr. Wilson, I know say you're not still a member of the uh, Nigeria Economic Summit Group. Now, waiting with the plans so we will not get ahead because growing up at the year Vision 2030, Vision 2010, 20. Now, waiting with the plans so we will not get uh, for okay. ahead for Nigeria. Okay, for Nigeria, the, the, our, one of our biggest um, concern and worry be say, no nation they grow just like that. You know, they happen by coincidence or by. Most nations where they grow, where they see all this Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, where would they call up and down? No be by say they just wake up all morning and they just they do things anyhow. Now planning, now vision. This last uh, uh, this gov current government, the their current plan where they get, they call them economic recovery and growth plan. Yeah, now okay. for 2016, um, 20, one of the summits where we get, now we call government, say, look, with a recession. Price don't go up. Exchange rate they go everywhere like this. We don't know where they go. How you feel? You know, if you just they run the economy just like that, you must plan to come out from recession. Now there, the conversation starts. We go Abuja. We meet with them. We start to put together this economic plan. Now ERGP now from 2017 to 2020, which means next year ERGP is supposed to don't expire. Whether government achieve waiting them plan now another story entirely but we can't look say after ERGP what next how we feel plan going forward so the next level now to say how we feel get long-term plan for Nigeria we feel no if you know be but we need to talk with government and ensure that governments start to look ahead to
to say, okay, all the regions for the country, how waiting the fee contributes to this economy to make sure say it grow, which resources we feel harness for whether different states to ensure which sector, for instance, where we won't be safe for 2050, where we won't be for 2030, which sector will contribute to this growth, how we feel address issues. Agriculture, for instance, now one big sector, we be say, in short, we never even scratch the surface. Manufacturing, mm -hmm. we never even start. You know, how we feel, ensure we feed the process many goods to make sure, say, um, at the end of the day, we provide jobs and reduce poverty for our country. So that's conversation now. We don't no, they look at say, start, we won't right? start to push to government, say, we must start to plan for future. All right, good. Thank you so much, Wilson Erumebo, um, economist too, and Yinka Iolakon. Um, him uh, head corporate communication for Inside Nigeria Economic Summit Group. Thanks a bunch of Studio. Thank you very Thank much. You All right, not forget the website there for there for you to actually go and see the plans where they get for Nigeria. What will be the website? www.nesgroup.org. All right, www.nesgroup.org. Thank you very much once again. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.